Hello everyone and welcome to yet another exciting episode of Stephen Mail. You may notice that we're in the same clothes as the Q&A because this was done on the same night because we were like, oh my god, we got a lot of mail. Which is true. I've been looking at the to-do list and we have a lot of things to do, but one of those things is get ahead and mail because we're kind of behind. We have lots of mail. We have a lot of mail. Um, right now, it looks like the queue is a month behind. This first letter is actually dated from August 2nd. And it's not that we've had this letter, well, it, well, we might have had the letter for a month. It's not that a, a video for Stephen Mail hasn't come out within a month. They have. It's just we've been really busy and we're just now starting to hit it hard and we're actually going to catch up. This first uh, piece of mail was actually big and it's from Je Jeffersonville, Pennsylvania. And you can see it's in a big Manila. Manila. It's funny because the post office put the sticker over the person's name. No, or we'll their never other know. address. So Pull it out. Here. See what's in there. Here, you have that. And I'll wait. take this. There uh, is also this. Okay. Dear Stephen Amell, I love Stephen Vlog. Uh, due to the Chugga Conroy episodes being the ones I watched at first, here is something enclosed. My name is Andy. My Scream slash YouTube name is the AJD200 and Super Andy Vlog. With your fire red leaf green LP project coming, do you believe the garbage about Lavender Town? I love its music. Stop messing with it. Sincerely, Andy. Um, first off, it's, it's funny because now the LP has started and people are like, it's coming up soon. Um, for those unaware, the garbage about Lavender Town is um, apparently in early releases of the game. Uh, the Lavender Town music, God, I'm trying to remember exactly how it happened, or what the, the theory is. But uh, the Lavender Town music is actually slightly different from the music that came out in like a 1.1 release. Like early, early carts, my cart, because it was one of the day one releases, actually contains slightly different Lavender Town music um, because kids, I believe kids in Japan that were playing the game started complaining of headaches or something because of one of the loud squeals in the background and they actually redid the music. Um, but I, I don't. But I. But some of it was like cra some of the theories are crazy regarding it. Some of it's like all these kids went to like the doctor and they had seizures or something. I don't know exactly. You can look it up and someone can correct me. But that's generally it. Anyway, Andy, I appreciate the letter, but there's more. It says, "Don't open without a meal." Don't do this. <laughs> if you send stuff, if you send something that asks a meal to be here, it'll probably like never get opened because a meal doesn't live here or live nearby. If we I mean, don't know when he's visiting. And we don't know when he's visiting. Um, this will literally like, I mean, it says don't open without a meal. Don't send a meal's mail here because a meal will never see it. So should we open it? A meal was never going I to see so. this. Um, and, and in the past people have asked if I will give a meal mail and I will not do it because Emil doesn't want it. And you are not his mail service. Pretty much. It, I mean, if Emil wanted mail, he would have a P.O. box for you guys to send him mail, but Emil is very busy and he's got other stuff to worry about. I'm gonna open this uh, just because th that's the situation and we'll see what this is. If I can actually get it open for ripping on the side. It is a thing, it's, it's a Pokemon card. Sort of, it's a handmade Pokemon card. On the other side, it says, uh, it says Ness was Zoom. It says PK Thunder, 100 fight. Well, it says 100 damage, flip a coin. Uh, if heads, the Pokemon um, is paralyzed. And you can also do PK Star Storm, and it does 250. I don't know why Emil had to be here for that. I guess it was relevant because it says Pokemon on it, and Emil's the big Pokemon guy. But yeah, I apologize for that. But anyone who's watching and wants to send Emil mail in the future, um, you can't, <laughs> pretty much, you, you can't do it, and I'm certainly not the, the middleman service to get your mail to a meal. But Andy, I do appreciate the letter. We're going to move on to... This very strange letter. This very strange letter that has absolutely no... Return address, and it doesn't even have a stamp on it to say where it's coming from. It's actually kind of weird, because it almost, it's like, almost as if like someone just thing? stuck it in the P.O. box, which is impossible. Stamp? Yeah. Let's open it up and find out what this is. There's a little balled up something. And here's a note. And that's that for the envelope. And in size it says, flowers, tablecloths, coffee pot, milk, eggs, bread, butter, paper plates, napkins, cups, coffees, creamers, oven cleaner. I enjoy watching you sleep. <laughs> we, 
We have an award for the creepiest letter we've ever gotten. <laughs> this is what was balled up. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> it's, it's, I, I mean, a, 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 I'm assuming that's Greg. That's fan art of Greg. That's fantastic. That's almost, almost as good as the pig like Greg. He's got like the unibrow going He's on. He's drooling. He looks very sickly. Mysterious sender, I appreciate your letter. <laughs> and uh, I actually, I find humor in this random shopping list of things. Who, ne who, ne who puts a coffee list on there, or a coffee pot on their thing? That's weird, man. Like someone needed both flowers and a coffee pot and tablecloths. I enjoy watching you sleep. We're gonna move on to the next letter. Next letter is from Brandon in Evans, Georgia. We're bad sucker open now, do it. Faster. The faster. glue on this envelope is sticky. It's because it's secure. It's holding the contents. And what what you got here? Hi Stephen Amell. My name is Brandon and I enjoy watching your videos. This is my first letter ever I sent to you. I'm 13 and I have my own YouTube account. It's Mario8436578. Come see my videos if you want. I do vlogs too because of you. P.S. I want Earthbound. Thank you very much. Brandon. Brandon, I appreciate the letter, however short and sweet, and uh, we're gonna move on to the next letter, which is from, doesn't have a address. Okay, what we've got is what we've got, and what we've got is game down to our socks, baby. Dear Steven, I enjoy watching your vlog and LPs. I enjoy watching you sleep. This person does not enjoy watching you sleep. Uh, if you're wondering who this is, it's Let's Player LZ. I'm new to YouTube. Please check me out and subscribe. Links in YouTube. <laughs> Links in the sidebar. <laughs> Dan. Uh, and we have a duot. Do it. Do it now. Do, get it. Duot. Duot now. Razor shell. She takes away all my toys. It's it's not very fun. Anyway. Um, I appreciate the letter very much. We're going to move on to... Is this the last letter? No, we got, we got the one down there. Oh, <laughs> the letter down there. All right, this, this is this is the last letter, but we still have one more letter. This might be the fastest mail video we've ever done. This is from Sarah in British Columbia, Canada. Maybe we're just, like, subconsciously moving fast because we know how many more videos we have to make. <laughs> A lot of videos. Okay, so we've got... Uh, it says moving day. There's gnome place like home. That is so cute. This is freaking cute. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's actually like three dimensional. It sticks out. Yeah, you can it touch depth. it. You can, yes, it has depth. You can touch it. It's good for me. And inside it says, Dear Stephen Amal, congrats on your move and your new place. I made this card as a housewarming gift for the two of you. I was going to put a camera on the front to go with the Polaroid, but alas, it didn't fit. Best wishes on the... Uh, next great adventure of your lives, Sarah, also known as Starbucks Mocha 88 on YouTube. Whoa, she made this. Oh my God, cool. this was so well done that I thought it was a store-bought card. That's yeah. that's crazy. No freaking, that's amazing. I have a new art project idea for my students. That's incredible. That's so cool. Like, now that you said that, I'm looking and I can see how you did that, but like, that's incredible. That, I'm, I'm really blown away. I really thought this was like a store-bought yeah. card. This is incredible. Sarah, you need to get a job with, what's that? Company? Hallmark. Hallmark. Yeah, Hallmark. That's incredible. Anyway. This piece of stationery. <laughs> a new vocab word for you. I know what stationery means. All right, and because there was no more room in the card, I'll continue here. I am one of the few people who started watching your LPs not because of the Chugga videos. I was on X's channel, David64YT, and was looking for something to watch. I saw your channel in the other channels I like box at the bottom right, and after the first video, Half-Life 2, I was hooked. If I could go back in time, I would watch them slower because I have gone through all the LPs now. Luckily, you post every day, though. From there, I started watching vlogs. I am only 200 days into the journey, but I am loving it. Seriously, thank you for producing such wonderful content. I admire how hard you work on it. Like others have said, your life is normal, but captivating to watch. Mal and your parents and college roommates definitely make it funny and all the more enjoyable. I have been wanting to send a letter for a while, so here it is finally. Sarah. P.S. Little Big Planet 2 is my favorite LP right now. Go Mal. Everyone cheers for Mal. Like, I, <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't say that to be negative, but like, I read the comments. There's so many people who are like, Mal, kill him, kill him, kick, kick him in the butt. Like, it's, it's just... Get, take you down a notch. Taking me down a notch. 
You enjoy that too. You you get. I gotta prove I'm better than you somehow. 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 Anyway, Sarah, uh, this was a beautiful leather and a beautiful car. I, I honestly can't believe that you made that. It's not. It's not that I'm doubting your skill, but like, it was so well done that I thought that there was a Hallmark card. Uh, but I do appreciate it. And we're gonna move on to the last piece of mail that we got today. I'll let you take it. This is a shoe. This is a sandal. This was shoved in my P.O. box. Um, Our P.O. box is not that big. It's very small. In Columbia, I had a bigger one, and this time I actually got a smaller one because they're not going to throw your mail away. They're, and, and there's so little mail that comes to this little podunk P.O. box place that they, they'll actually put it in a separate one for you so you can get it. Um, I've learned a few things. For one, <laughs> if it will fit in a box, they will put it in there. They will mail it across the country and it'll get there. So that's interesting. Um, God, We're the talk of the post office. <laughs> yes, I'm sure. It, it, it's actually really strange because it is a smaller smaller post office. So I, I have a feeling that <laughs> it's really unusual for them, for, to even, for someone to even get all this mail, especially with what you guys write on the outside or getting things like this. And actually, I would encourage you when you send mail to write interesting things on the envelope, to write weird stuff or, or quotes or things like that because... Draw pictures. Because I really want to freak out the people at the, the, the post office. I think that would be hilarious. Um, I have, They probably have no idea who we are or what the crap's going on. But don't send shoes. Yeah. Um, as, as funny as this was to get, I was really blown away it was in there. I remember I reached in and got some mail and then this was in the bag and I was like, what? Um, don't do this again. It, because it's funny, but at the same time, this is a used sandal and it's actually really dirty. And we've had it in the house for a while because we had to record this video. Um, so have fun, send things, send whatever you'd like. Um, in the future, if you really want to send shoes, don't send used shoes. Although really don't send shoes. Like I, I can't, there's only one sandal. How am I supposed to use this? Um, although it was funny. so. I have no idea who did it. Um, although I, someone sent me. Does it have a return on or? A... It's it's from it's from Pennsylvania, Pen okay. Carbondale, Pennsylvania. Although I, I, someone, um, Mizzoni, I think Mizzoni, uh, it was on, it was on Twitter, and someone had sent like two weeks after I got this, someone sent me like a tweet. It was like, did you get anything unusual in the mail? And that was like a giveaway. It was like, ha ha, I got a shoe. Um, so I'm pretty sure that they sent it, but uh, I, I'm not mad. I just want to advise people in the future to not send any more shoes. Uh, find something else interesting to send. Just don't send any, anything dirty, because this thing has uh, it's done some traveling. Although, hey, maybe when they send it, it was clean. Maybe the... the... <laughs> it walked here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> do, 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 do. The postman walked. Warren. <laughs> hey, a shoe. <laughs> hey, I'm going that way. <laughs> anyway, um, that's going to be it for today. I uh, got a lot of awesome mail. I think we did this in, in pretty pretty fast yeah. time, faster than we normally do. There's still a ton of mail, so if you guys send a letter and you've been wondering where it is, it's just that we've been busy, we've been doing a lot of stuff, went to PAX, now we're back. We have a lot of stuff to do, but there's a lot of mail in there, a lot of packages and mail. So if you're wondering where your stuff is, it's probably here. And uh, we're gonna do our best to catch up. If you wanna send something, you can. Hopefully it won't take a month to get it open, but we're doing the best we can. Uh, go over to the channel page in the top right corner, Right corner, yeah, top right yeah. corner. <laughs> in the top right corner, there is an address. Uh, put something in a box and write the address on it. It'll get here. So thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, we're gonna record another tomorrow. Yeah, actually, there's gonna be mail coming out very often. So uh, if you're into mail videos, you're in luck. If you're not into mail, there's that's... still vlogs. Yes, and the mail videos are separate for this reason. So you can be like, I don't like watching people send people things. <laughs> if you're one of those people, get your lip looked at and also <laughs> skip the mail videos.